New Zealand and Fiji for third place in Dubai. The kickoff's gone over the head and over the sideline, and it'll be an attacking lineup for New Zealand. There's Tim Mickelson there, the, the veteran who's back here and gets a start in the bronze medal game. You would have played against him many times, Chris. Yeah, good to see a Tim Mickelson back at age 37. It's still going. That very first kickoff, so crucial to get the ball, but a lot of pressure applied by the All Blacks on that kick chase. As you do in sevens, the scrum half throws the line out. Roroko Lesoa. Scott Curry's the target. There you go. Brings it down safely. Tapia Cook Savage. Just hands it off here to Leroy Carter. The captain, Sioni Molia, on the looping run around the corner. Cook Savage again. Here is Tim Mickelson. Over 90 series events all time, only. Gaston Revolt. Who will be playing in the final later tonight has played more and cody vine now looking to burst through a couple of fijian tackles and hold him out for now carter reloads rock of assault cook savage oh flicks it in but in the tackle. it's evaded everybody but it was knocked no. on that's why knock it dribbled away so far so new zealand will set a scrum no lively problem. start Good build up to the start of this New Zealand team, spreading the ball wide, being very abrasive. That last pass absolutely got thumped in that offload. Good vision. Lucky not to get a, a card there, unfortunately. Ball not going to hand for New Zealand, but they get another opportunity. Ability before the ball, okay? Hook for the ball, please. Only one medal Brown. match all season last time out between these two. That was the Hong Kong Cup final. Blind. New Zealand won it. Set. There you go, Fiji, looking for a hundredth win at this event. Rokolesoa to Cook Savage, cut out ball, and it's gone forward. Yeah. See what they're trying Good to ball. do. Great. Frustration for Cook Savage and the All Black Sevens. Yeah, ball should have just gone to hand, but you can see what they want to do. They want to use the outside channels, want to work hard, put. This Fijian team under a lot of exit. pressure. Exit, boys. Exit. New Zealand, of course, series winners last time out. Their 14th all-time. They've won this Dubai Fine. title six times, but... Set. Not for a while now. South Africa going for a fifth straight title later tonight. Here's my Samoa for Fiji. Trying to burst through the, the tackle of Cook Savage. In fact, it's Leroy Carter, all action on D there. Of course, we know yeah. Fiji can score from anywhere. Velau has 20, been flung side. to the floor, slightly after the whistle by Leroy Carter. Well, Leroy Carter definitely setting the standard down. He's relentless, this bloke. He just never stops getting amongst it. Both these teams just so physical. They're going to run hard. You can see On the line. just thumping okay. him Fine. to the floor. So Velara shrugged that off and he'll throw to this line out. He's been outstanding this weekend, number 96. Similar sort of player to Rocco Lesoa, who is, of course, himself of Fijian heritage and Scott Curry. Picks off the line out for New Zealand. Good steal at the set piece. Cook Savage to Cody Vai burst onto the scene in Hong Kong. Second one was lost last lost year. Had a little knock on. Yeah, very frustrating stuff from this New Zealand team. You can see the frustration. Ball not going to hand. Trying to trying to play with the defense. See what they're doing. Getting the wraparounds. And it's those flick passes that are just not going to hand at the moment. A lot of possession for New Zealand so far. 16 passes to three. Still nil all on the scoreboard. Crouch! Fiji, of course, double Olympic champions. New Zealand yet to win a gold medal in the men's competition. Black Ferns have done it. Fiji can play now. Off the scrum. 
And on the cut is my Samoa. Got the ball from Nandul Valo. Cook Savage is wreaking havoc. Look at the counter ruck from New Zealand. Yeah, and they win the penalty as well. Flooding the breakdown. It was Mickelson and Carter. Molia too. Brutal stuff from this New Zealand team. And that's how they enforce turnovers. They make sure that they put in the numbers and they want to get the result out of... And this is what makes this New Zealand team so dangerous. You need to look after your ball, but you need to get that ball out of the breakdown. Second too late, and they'll they'll damage you. Well, there you go, a couple of absolute legends. Samasi Thamas, six White, seasons assistance line. to Clark Laidlaw. White. Now he's taken over the top job. Played 128 international tournaments. And Ben Gollins, of course, head coach of Fiji, all-time leading point scorer in history. On HSBC 7 series, his Carter leaping into the air to take that pass. <laughs> Penalty Fiji. Got a little isolated. Big Savaloni more than a thungy doing the business. Is Talatholo, big man, decides to kick. He's going to oh. hack it on again. Talatholo sits up for him and he's got the wheels to run away from Curry. A captain's intervention. Yosefa Talavolo, what a sight that is. Fiji going to the old style of play, get the quick tap, spots the space in the back. There's a mismatch, but look at the stride length. The ball hops up perfectly, still had work to do. And how crucial is that score just before half time? Smart play for the big man, this black wall, so difficult to break down takes the responsibility and it pays off and there's an extra two points from wide out as well seven nothing fiji lead new zealand approaching half time in the bronze medal match high high restarts from velawa well taken by cody by new zealand will keep playing here despite the Siren for half time. Tapia Cook Savage. Orokole Soa. That hitch kick we've come to know and love on the HSBC 7 series. Fiji player injured in back player effectively playing with six here. Scott Curry to Cody Vai. He's got Leroy Carter with him. Here he goes. Checks in field, gets inside Talatholo, but can't get past Modern Athangi. Mickelson to Molia. Molia shows it, goes it, Cook Savage flicks it on quickly. Orokolisoa, beautiful hands from New Zealand. There's the hit back. New Zealand strike right back, and that's what they do so well. How's this for a take? Fiji's so good in there, you've got to get up soon. And this is so good of New Zealand style play. Looks for the inside. Perfectly timed pass. With open try line. Six men on their feet. And puts it down. Played every game on the series for New Zealand last season. All 66. Akila Orokolesoa adds the extra two points. We are level at half time in the bronze medal game, Fiji and New Zealand. Terry Velawa will get us underway, back to business. Bronze medal match, sends it high. Seven points each to Pia Cook Savage. Lifted high, bounced over everybody to Sioni Molia, who saw it coming. Here's Carter again, puts the head down. Rokolisoa at scrum half, those two shortlisted for World Player of the Year last season. Scott Curry to Cody Vai. There is Mickelson, 37 years of age. Rokolisoa in midfield. Long pass to Carter. Such a difficult skill to pass it on point that far whilst running quickly. They make it look easy. They got a penalty here. Good patience from New Zealand, spreading it out wide, pushing hard pressure on the outside. Good clean outs and then sending it back, stretching this Fijian defense, making them work. And then nice control. 
get it, slow it down, work on your set piece has been working well. Scott Curry doing so well on the line outs. Back that. So we'll make him now. Yeah, New Zealand. Do we need time off? Time of it against Fiji of late. With that winning streak snapped in London last year by Fiji. We're all good. Guys, we're all good. Sub? Yep. Spark Savage. Was that a phantom shoelace? Was that a signal? No, pretty rudimentary to Scott Curry. Dishes it off to Molia. Now to Cook Savage. And Brady rushes out there to Scott Curry. Former captain of this side. Rush. Cook Savage over his head to Carter. No harm done. Just buys a bit of time. Mickelson to Molia. Timing's fine. Tackle came in. Ref was happy. BG letting some rockets go here. Inside to Brady Rush. That was nice. Found the half break. Bit of momentum here for the team in black. Counter-ruck from Fiji. New Zealand need a scrum half That's here. Fine. Molia does really well to get the ball away, and it might open up for them on the far side. It's Tapia Cook Savage. He steps inside. He had Cody by with him. Mickelson still might work out for them, and it does. They might have done it the hard way, but Vai is in the corner, and New Zealand take the lead. Celebrations all around, but look at this clean out. Did so well to keep the ball. Look at this flat pass. Scott Curry getting into the hands. Mickelson spotting the space out wide. Cook Savage takes just enough. Could have given it. Playing a little bit of volley beach volleyball and puts it on the side. As you mentioned, not the easiest, but very entertaining. It's actually like a pretty good option, wasn't it? teenager there having fun in the sun in Dubai tell you what they might have corner flag by with the first pass so Cook Savage going in and out look like the right venue great sight here at the seven stadium Cook Savage back underway 12-7 conversion didn't make it PG onto it, just evades, it's been hacked ahead, it might still work out for them, but Tobias Cook Savage is back there sooner, oh no, Helter Skelter, it's still alive, now it's been intercepted, now it's a penalty. Stop. And we're going to have a yellow so car. You're on the ground, you cannot play. He's on the ground, he cannot participate in the game. Cynical. Oh, Tobias Cook Savage is going to the sim bin for two minutes, he was on the floor. If you're on the floor in any form of rugby, you're out of the game. Again, here we see this Fijian team usually would opt for the quick tap, bust their way over that line. Yeah, I agree. But getting control back, you. understanding. Okay. Only six we'll play on the, the field. penalty. No penalty Riff's try, there was pen players around, okay? So Ruben Keane, the referee, no, just got a word yeah, there from cynical. Jordan Wade. No, no. His assistant saying, in all probability, wouldn't have scored a try. There was cover coming across, so no penalty try. So some relief for New Zealand there. But seven on six, going to be tough to defend here. Yeah, New Zealand, you can't cover both sides. You've got to keep one, try and push him out to the side. You've got to look at that scoreboard. Try and if they're going to score, they have to score on the outskirts. But this Fijian team, very smart, very elusive. So two-minute power play for Fiji. Booker Yaro's out there at number nine. He's got Terio Velawa, that first receiver. Here he goes, Velawa. Now my Samoa. My Samoa! He reaches out and he scores. He's got one movement. Straight away, Fiji capitalise with Cook Savage in the sin bin. 12 each kick to come. As soon as that ball came out of the scrum, it was like, almost like a race, trying to get to my Samoa. He just had enough space and the extra stretch. so difficult to defend but well executed came off short and the extra the extra strength you're allowed to do that in sevens you're allowed to stretch over in rugby conversion to go ahead just slides by the left hand upright so remains 12 each of course we would go to golden point if it did remain level after regulation time Fresh legs out there for New Zealand. Flicked inside to 
Moses Leo, Cody Vai, Shea Clark as well on the field. Gone with youth here deep in this second half. Can the, the young guns get it done for the All Black Sevens? Not sure you put Tim Nicholson in that category, but certainly Brady Rush here. Oh, he's beaten a couple. A brilliant from Rush in that famous number two shirt. And now Moses Leo with a bit of space. Up over the 10 meter line. Counter ruck from Talatholo. Ball's loose. And they've seen a knock on. Welcome by 21. Well, just look at the exciting play from Rush. Oh, you got to strap your ankles. You're defending him. Look at him go. Beats one, beats two. Gets it off, Lodo. that last flick. I say the famous number two shirt, of course, made famous on, by please. his father, Eric Rush, who played for New Zealand in the Sevens World Series for such a long time. Okay, bind up. I'll call time on when we're ready. Brady. Come on. Crouch. We're in the same shirt. Bind. 12 each. Well, maybe not the same one. Set. But, you know. Same number. Final minute. 12 each. Bronze medal. Something's got to give. Fiji have the ball. Approaching the final 30 seconds here. Big defence required here. From New Zealand, that's Fehi Fayanganofo going to work oh. and look at Tim leave Mickelson. It, it. 37 years of age, comes up with the steal. Now New Zealand have a chance to win it in regulation. Over the top two, Brady Rush. There's another sidestep off that right foot. But now Talatholo looking for the steal, illegally so, says the referee. New Zealand have a penalty, Cook Savage goes quickly. Here's Tim Mickelson now. New Zealand with some numbers over on the far side. It's Fenny Angonofo. He's a big boy he and he will it. win it for New Zealand. <laughs> Fehi Fenny Angonofo has come up with the match winner in the bronze medal game. No, 21 years of age. What a moment for him. It's all about the timing of the pass. It gets over. Stop. Beautiful stuff to watch, and if you blink, you're going to miss it. But look at the step off the left. Bang! <laughs> finds his way through, and he finds himself putting New Zealand ahead and taking this game. Oh, lovely moment. What a finish. That was the plan. Get it to him. He can burst tackles. One of Auckland Grammar School's finalists. Missed so much rugby, almost two years with injury. And New Zealand have wrapped up the bronze medal here.